I hugged Sally Field. <laughs> God, it is so wonderful uh, to kind of see this energy and this optimism in this room tonight. Yet, outside the Kennedy Center, the world is experiencing a crisis of compassion. There is a growing sense of fear, intolerance, and a lack of empathy for anybody we consider to be the other. And no matter how much we might try to shield our children from this, they are being exposed to it. It is coming in the news, in their communities, and it's now also entering their schools and their classrooms. There has never been a more urgent time to bring hope back. And yet, how do we adults respond to this? We tell our children, you are too young to solve these problems. This is the government's job. And anyway, what can one person do? And how do our children respond? With the March for Our Lives, right? <laughs> time and time again, offering us glimpses into the extraordinary potential that resides in each child, so that these moments of, of change and power uh, are not left to chance. The feel, imagine, do, and share framework cultivates the I can mindset by design. And the result of this, every time a child experiences being the change, they are forever changed. This is what the world needs today. Children with hope and inspired to shape a more sustainable, compassionate future for themselves and for others. Over the 17 years, Riverside has empowered two million children with the I can mindset. But there are 1.9 billion children on the planet. What will it take to reach every single one of them? Simple. It will take every single one of us. It will take us to listen more and instruct less. It will take us to value our children for being remarkable and not markable. And finally, it will take us to fiercely, shamelessly, and unrelentingly believe in our children. Because when we tell our children, you can, then they will. So ladies and gentlemen, what are we waiting for? Thank you.